I am standing in a very unique place. It is rather cold inside and there are many, many biological samples here. And I have with me Dr. Pallavi Shetrapal. She is a specialist on looking at biological samples, especially samples from pregnant women and placenta. That's a specialization. But today she is working very heavily on the novel coronavirus. Uh, Dr. Pallavi, where are we standing and what is the significance of this place? We are right now standing at the NCR cluster bioscience biorepository, which has been coordinated by THSTI and Regional Center for Biotechnology. This biorepository houses 8.5 lakh human samples, which are right rightly from the pregnancy cohort and also have specimens recently from the COVID-19 patients which are the sera, plasma, naso and oropharyngeal swabs. So what use is of these samples and why do you store 8.5 lakh samples? So if I go back to what biobank or a biorepository is, it is all about collaborations. These samples are from patients which have been collected by clinical teams, managed by data management teams and by the biorepository team they are processed, stored and retrieved in a way that can help the society wherein you can not only do the research and development using these samples for the cause of a disease but also in vaccine production, these samples will also be important for assay development and with the backup facility at the institute that is THSTI and the NCR cluster, with the small animal facility, the bioassay lab, we have designed and developed special panels which can be used to test for the specificity and sensitivity of all the diagnostic and the immunoassay kits which are coming out for COVID-19 research. So what is stored in these very large refrigerators, ye ghar ke refriger bigger than the home refrigerator, how cold are they and what are you storing? So these refrigerators are very special and unique. They have temperatures of below minus 80, that is below minus 0 degree centigrade to minus 80 degree centigrade. And this special arrangement has to be done in a way to store the samples for a long duration of time which will not worsen the integrity of a sample and even after 10 years the quality of the sample will be that you will be able to use it for your scientific objectives. So they are different from the freezers at home because they are constantly monitored. You go anywhere in the world we will be able to tell you what the temperature of the freezer is because the temperature is the major factor here which will keep the samples cold I don't mean cold and old but definitely new because they will be very major for the maintaining the integrity of the samples for any use in scientific objectives so how long have we had and how many such facilities do we have in India so during the COVID-19 era there were five such biorepositories which were notified as the national biorepositories by Department of Biotechnology Government of India. We do have five or six more biorepositories in India but this is one of the unique ones where maximum number of samples have not only been collected but the real sense of a biobank is distribution. So maximum number of samples have also been biobanked and distributed. Our collaborating hospitals wherein our senior management has helped us a lot, Dr. Shinjini Bhatnagar and Professor Gagandeep Kang, in collaborating with these hospitals in and around the NCR area, especially to name ESI, LNJP, AIMS, where most of these samples have been coming from. So, will you help in the making of the new and much sought after vaccine for the novel coronavirus? So, will these samples in some way help towards that? 
Yes. So these samples, which are well characterized, as I said, and well phenotyped, because they have the clinical information and as well as their molecular information in terms of the antibody titer using PNT assays, the neutralization assays, they can be used to for vaccine development assays, which are whether this particular vaccine has really produced those many antibodies in the in the person that can be checked out and also can be used in diagnosis of COVID, SARS-CoV-2 infection. So, so both diagnosis and vaccine development, the samples which are there around me would be used. So it's not, it's not just money being put in a cold storage. Yes. So we have right, right now with a well-structured government of India, bio, DBT biotechnology, we have tried to re retrieve these samples to more than 14 industries and also to academia for R&D. So these samples are not only stored as mentioned, but they are also distributed so that new kits and assays platforms can be developed for India and abroad. So real translation of basic science work? So this can be as one of the real translation of basic science work, but again this translation where we are storing these samples in the biorepository will also help in basic research. So it will it is always bench to bedside and bedside to bench again because it's always like an evolving and a vicious cycle. So we can say that we are storing these samples for as a translational, they all have a translational value, but also they will provide fundamental science behind it. So that was Dr. Pallavi Shetrapal, who looks after this very large refrigerator. There are no small refrigerators. They go cold up to minus 80 degrees centigrade. And 8.5 lakh samples are stored here for long-term use contributing in this COVID-19 pandemic era both to the development of a new vaccine against the novel coronavirus and to the diagnostic kits. But her key area remains understanding the placenta, that very complex organ between a fetus and a mother. That's her key area and that is what she loves to research inside the biorepository in the national capital region at the Translational Health Science Technology Institute in Faridabad, Palav Bagla.